Hello and welcome to, the, to today's Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to have a look at today's Sunday Times Sudoku, labelled as very hard. So I copied the givens into my Excel sheet and we'll just have a look at this and um, see where we can make progress. As usual, the place to start is where there are a lot of numbers given. That's always a very good way. And we can see down here at the bottom we've got four four numbers in quite a useful arrangement here, given that they're 1956. Um, these top three can't be seven or eight, which are in the same row. So they must be three, four, two in some order. The three has to be there, given the three is vertically above. Two and four in some order must be in there. That leaves seven and eight in these cells, and they can go straight in because of that eight. Now this row, we've got seven of the givens now, um, two and a six are the other ones, and because of that two, we have to have a six here and a two there. So that's a decent start. Now, I don't really know where I'm going next. This row, seven, three, two, four, eight, we've got placed, although uncertain about the two and the four. The five and the six can't be in this box because of that five and six. So they must be there, and the one and nine must be here. Well, it hasn't started out very hard, so it's obviously going to get worse. Um, over here, 149, but we can't do much with that at this point. Right, now let's have a look at 4 and 3s across the middle here. 4 and 3 in the middle box, 4 and 3 in the right-hand box. So the 4 and 3 in the left-hand box must be in, the, in its top row. But again, we don't know the order, so we're going to kind of pencil mark those in. Now, it's a very powerful thing to have a pair in two cells in a box um, because that rules out those cells from consideration for other numbers. Um, and that really works very much in the solver's favour quite a lot of the time. Now, it's getting a bit harder now. So the 5 in this middle, there's a 5 there and a 5 there. The 5 in this box must be either there or there, but we don't know which. Um, the 1 here must be there or there because of this 1 and the fact that those three middle cells are all filled. Um, and this, this notation, as usual, is limiting numbers to where they could be within the box. Same for 8s in the middle here. They must be on the left. 3, 1, 8, 9s must be either here or here with the 8. 6s. Oh, that's interesting. 9s and 6s are the same. 6 and 9, as you see, are in this row. 6 and 9 are in this column. So the only 6 and 9 in the center box is these two, and that's decided the 8. The 8 can no longer be in those two. Again, it's a powerful combination. The 8 must be there. So in this row now, we've got 5, 1, 6, 9, 4, 3, 8 can't be there, but we don't know about the rest. Um, but it's a good start. Now, the 7... Seven in the top, in this column that I'm in here, it can't be in that box because that's either six or nine, so it must be either there or there. Um, and the five, ah, five in column four, five in column five. So the five in column six has to be in the top box and it can't be there because of that five, so that's the five. So again, the fives in the top right box must be in one of those two positions. Twos across the top, two there, two there. The two here must be in one of those two. Can't be in that one because of the two down there, so it's there. And that fixes the two in this box as here. Again, that helpful three, three, four helped narrow that down. Um, so now we can, again, I mean, I don't think we've done anything particularly clever yet, so. I expect we've still got some difficulties to come up against. Um, nine, four, three, five. Are the ones in this set in this end column here? We've got one in the very end column, one in the column next to it. The one next to that must be here because those ones rule out that top box. Um, so we know nine is either there. Or there. Um, 
What else do we know? Two point nine six. Not sure. Still looking for something else. Oh, nines in the top right box must be in the far right column. So either there or there. Not sure if that particularly helps us at the moment. I have a feeling it might help us soon. I can't quite see that. So 5.9304. That can't be a 2. 6.4. Not really sure what's going on down there. Two eight five three. So now we're going to need a bit of insight, I think, to to make a little bit more progress at this point. Now six in the in this central top box can't be there or there because of the six there, and it can't be in this cell because of the six there. This is an unusual splitting up of the two sixes in a box, but it might help us shortly. Um, Not sure quite where we're going next. Six two five six five three no three is nine six two still just scanning around for something that's gonna help us make a bit more progress at this point. Um, forgive me if you're shouting at your screen because you've seen something that's similar basis to those sixes, a two in this box here turns out because of that two and that two it can only be here or down here um, but again that doesn't really advance us very much hmm where can we go next ah six is in that box um, got a six there, and one of those is a six. So the six over here must be either there or there. Um, two, nine, four, four, nine, three, six. It'd be lovely if we could fix eight and seven in the central areas a bit. Ah, eight in this same box. Eight is ruled out from the top bits and from the end column by that eight. So eight is either there or there. And that limits 8 at the top. can't be at the very top because of that 8 next to it, so it must be there. That puts an 8 here. That, interestingly, puts an 8 here because it can't be in the 3-4 box. And that has fixed the rest of that box for us. Now we're making some progress. So this is now 6 and 7 in those two. That fixes the 8 there. And now that fixes 2 and 5. Um, and that's that. we've got 2 fixed in there. These are 1 and 7. And we can tell the order from the 7 down here. And the five, seven, this 4 and 2 has now been fixed by the 2 that we just put in. It gives us a 1 there. 8, 5, 1, 3, 2. Two, two, two. One of these is a four, and I'm not sure which. Um, four, six, and seven. I have a feeling. No, I haven't quite ruled that out. Okay. Um, but we have made some good progress here. Six, two, eight, four, five, four, nine, eight, six. Ah, two, three, and seven in this bottom section down on the right. 7 now has to be here because of the 2 and 3 above it, and that fixes the 2 and 3. That gives us a 7 here, that fixes the 5, that fixes the no oops, not that 9, that fixes the 9 there. Um, then we've got 3, 4, 6, so we've got the 6 and 7 sorted out there now. And that 9, I thought that was going to be useful. No, not so much. Three, one, two, nine. That can't be a seven. Okay, in this row three, there's three cells that we haven't filled in black. This one can't be a seven because of the seven below it. Um, this. Oh, what's going on? Sorry. That, this one can't be a seven. So this one is the seven. 
and that fixes the 6 from the earlier order split up 6s that we had. That gets us the rest of that box done. And now I think we're just finishing off, hopefully, with the remaining um, possible numbers. There's, not, there's going to be very few double possibilities left for anything now. Indeed, I think we must be able to sort out the remaining central box. And we, given that there's only two sets of three, they must be very straightforward. 6, 2, 7, 4, 8, 5. We need 3, 1, 9. And as in the middle here, it has to be a 1. So there's a 3 and a 9 below it. And then down here, we need 1, 4, 9. And they're all very fixed. So that is the solution to the puzzle. It wasn't quite as difficult as very hard made it seem. Um, and we were able to get it done with just the basic kind of Snyder logic, help to spot a few things around. Why does that keep happening? Help to spot, to spot a few things around the middle, but it was reasonably straightforward. So, again, just evidence that as long as you keep asking the right sort of questions, you focus on the, the areas where there are a lot of numbers already given, and you notice these powerful combinations of three and four had to be there and three and four or there and that ruled out lots of things in that box that's the sort of combination that you want to be looking for all the time so i hope that's helpful um just a, a regular sudoku um and you know it said very hard but it didn't seem very hard when attacked in the right way so do please subscribe if you've enjoyed the content um and hope to see you again soon on cracking the cryptic thanks for your time